Hello, today we're going to talk about QImage Ultimate and get a little insight into how to use the white balance tools that are built into QImage Ultimate. Okay, let's get started with a few examples and a few challenges. We'll go over here to our friend the cat, select him. We'll right click because it's a raw file. You can see RW2 over here and we'll click refine raw exposure and the refine box will come up in a moment. I just want to comment that if all possible do your white balance in the raw image. This way everything will be much truer color before anything else is done later on like develop JPEGs or TIFFs or stuff like that. So you're better off doing the white balance in this refine box rather than later on. Okay here's our cat and looks like he's been lighted using some kind of daylight that came through the window and since daylight is predominantly a bluish light you can see it reflected in the in the overall color of the shot and the cat well let's go down here to this eyedropper and let's read what it says here if we put the pointer on the eyedropper we get the instructions white balance Click on this button and then click on an area of gray or white in the image to set the custom white balance. Well, that's pretty easy. I think I'm going to go over here. I, I'm taking a wild guess that this is white on the cat. So I'll give it a click and we'll see what we get. And this is not, you know, something that you have to accept. If you don't like it, you put it back. That's all. But look what it did to the cat. Now, I call that an improvement because that's what the actual cat looks like. And now you can see what a wonderful improvement doing a proper white balance has done for you. Okay, we'll close this up by clicking here, save and close. And we'll move on to the next example. Okay. Okay, our next example, we'll try this railroad car here. Okay, again, it's a raw image. We'll right click and say refine raw. And that'll bring up our refine box. There it is and we're looking at this it's a pretty nice picture we we're just gonna have a look and see whether it gets improved by using white balance or not well QImage has a wonderful built-in tool because I don't really know where is anything white other than the cloud and that I can't really swear for it depends what kind of sunlight is on it or what's happening don't know so let's see what the QImage tool tells us we press down on the control key and this shows us where the white areas are from gray to white preferably try to use something nice and bright like up in here as opposed to something gray down in here you'll get a much better white balance okay so let's see what we're getting here okay it, let's go in here because it, it's easy and might as well do easy okay so we we'll go down here make sure we clicked on our eyedropper go in here even though it looks beige QImage tool said that's white. Okay, it's a good place. So we'll give it a click and we'll see what happens. Okay, well, look at that. The car got to be a, its proper color and the sky even got a little nicer, a little bluer. And I think we made a little improvement with that. The grass even brightened up a little bit. So that we'll call that a winner and we'll move on to the next one. Again, I just save it like that and we'll go on to the next challenge okay this time we're going to try this bridge picture here I'm going to show you what it looks like enlarged a little bit you can see it's a pretty nice picture there's a person coming over the rise of the bridge and good clouds and interesting dynamics and things like that but you know what it has a little yellowy look to it because the picture was taken early in the morning and these railings actually were a silver color and the pathway here is a gray but let's see what we can do either way okay this is going to be interesting okay we're going to right click again and we're going to click on refine and here's our picture in the refine box you can see the picture was taken at 730 in the morning and that's what's giving it that warm look now that warm look may be perfect and you'll leave it alone okay but this is just to show you what and how we can do to correct white balance okay well if this was gray we can use that but it's kinda on the dark side let's see if we can get a piece of this 
silvery color here which should be a gray so we'll click on our little eyedropper again and we'll go down into this area and we'll give it a click and see what happens okay wow it seemed to have turned blue actually it it's balanced but the difference between what it was and what it is now is very dramatic and we may not like that really it might have had a much more warm comfortable feeling the way it was the way the camera saw it so we can do one of two things we can put it back simply by right clicking on the eyedropper or we have this other bar in here the white balance bar which you can tweak so let's give it a couple of clicks to the warmer side and see how we're going and we may like this just a bit better just like that might be too much let's take one off and right about there might be something we can really like better than the original it's up to you you're the photographer you saw the scene you know what you want to get out of it. so it isn't cut and dry okay that's my point it's not cut and dry let's see what it looked like without any white balance and you can see the difference okay and you have to make your choice what how you want this picture to appear okay I'm gonna close this up and we'll move on to the next challenge okay let's move on to another challenge here we have an image I'll give you a big look at it for a second just so you have an idea what it really looks like and it's a pretty darn nice picture really nice picture okay but let's see what we can do with it we're going to right click on it again just like the other refines and we'll bring up our box and I'm going to press the control key again to use Q images tool to find a good white reference point and you know what I don't see very much a couple of dots here and there but that's about it and I think I told you or I should tell you that the center uh, mouse button will also do this the center mouse button. the uh, pointer has to be in the picture for it to work though center mouse button if you hold down the wheel or if you have a wheel or a center mouse button you also get the same effect as holding down the control key okay so if we do that and we're looking for a white reference point ew, we'd have to find a pixel here or a pixel there but we have another choice let's see what this does I'm going to click on this automatic white balance here and Q image is going to have a look at everything and say let's see what I can do with it okay so I just put a check mark in there and whoa look what happened everything got brighter and finer looking and it's showing me the actual sunlight that's uh, coming down it was nine o'clock in the morning right here okay 904 and that's a pretty good representation of what that picture really looked like I'm going to accept this one so I click here save and close and there's another example of how you can use the tools built into QImage Ultimate okay at this point I'm going to go to one more of the raw pictures and as I said before you should always try to do your your uh, white balance while in raw mode okay here we go and there's just a statue again taken early in the morning with a warm light on it if you want to experiment you click on your eyedropper and you go up to an area that you know is pretty gray anyway and you give it a click and let's see what happens okay that's what happens there's a proper white balance now whether you like this better than the one without the white balance that's up to you you're the photographer but there's your white balance okay I'm gonna close that one up and we've got one more to do and this one's gonna be a JPEG okay it's gonna be a JPEG because a lot of people shoot in JPEG mode sometimes you uh, people send you pictures and you wanna just fix it up because they forgot to so we're gonna do a JPEG so I'm gonna double click in the middle of the thumbnail and put it into the image editor and yuck this is a hodgepodge of mixed light and it's not very flattering as you can see okay an interesting thing to consider here is that the light is a mixture it's a mixture of incandescent bulbs up here in the ceiling we have a flash shot we can see the reflection in this picture in the upper right hand corner where my pointer is 
and who knows there might be fluorescence on there too but we have a mixture of light and what we want to do is find a white point now I could go to the salt shaker but that's behind this lady and it's really not getting the same flash bulb effect as her face is getting so I'm gonna try and pick up a white point somewhere where the flash and the incandescent light are mixing just like on their faces okay right now it's time to have the small children leave the room as this is going to be rated eh. anyway I'm going to use this portion right here as a white point because it has the flash and it has the overhead light and that's what I'm going to use so I just go over here to where it says white balance and there's your eyedropper I give that a click I come down here with the eyedropper and I'm going to give a click here and see what happens okay well let's see well that's quite an improvement you gotta admit that I'm going to just right click here so I bring up that box you're all familiar with that box now your preview box we have two buttons here the before and after the left one is for the sharpening if you have any and the right one is for any other filter so let's see what we did okay you can see the before and the after on that white balance okay okay I'm gonna say okay and now we look at this and we say hmm it's much much better but I can improve that a little bit I think anyway I'm gonna bring up the red just a little more so here's your ability to tweak and give it a few clicks up higher like up to a t 11 anyway okay like that and I'm gonna take the blue down just a little bit more to let's say a 9 okay it's all just adjusting by eye to whatever you like and I'm gonna say okay and I think we got her face a little bit more with red in it let's have a look and see what it looks like again that before and after button okay I think I'll settle for this and I think we did a pretty good job here and this is a JPEG and that's the only way we're going to be able to do this there's no refine for JPEGs okay I'll close this up save the filter and let's see what it looks like in a big picture there you are and that's much better than it really was before okay I think that concludes our introduction into white balance I hope you enjoyed it. hope you got something from it and we'll see you next time